Let's talk about the people in history that practice the law of attraction and whether they knew it or not, they were practicing. And most most of them them did did know. Yeah. Da Vinci, Thomas Edison, Henry Ford, who really invented mass production of automobiles. All of these individuals absolutely practice the law of attraction. They would not take no for an answer. They fixed their vibrations and sent them out. And the universe and all of us responded favorably. How many would agree that Walt Disney was probably the ultimate practitioner of the Law of Attraction? Oh my gosh, yes. The whole world thought he was a joke. They were against him. At every single step of the way, when he first started doing the animated cartoons, they all said, no one's going to pay money to see animated cartoons. Did that stop him? Let's talk about Bill Gates. This is another man who was just laughed at. Who's going to want a computer? Mm -hmm. Who's going to want that? And then he thinks, well, you know what? I don't need to worry about the hardware. It's going to be the software. That's what everybody's going to want. And so that is a pretty lofty group of total practitioners of the Law of Attraction. And there are many, many, many more. By feeling the disappointment, the uh, real world, so to speak, by feeling the lack, not only are you going to be disappointed, but you're going to trigger the universe into giving that back to you. And that's the vicious cycle that has to be broken. Exactly. If you don't break that cycle. That's the little bit of trickiness. In other words, really, your real world, the perception that you have truly is the wonderful one that you want but we have been taught how to think a certain way and if you can break that pattern then you are just 80 percent there because what happens is beth beth i don't want i don't want this to be lost right out the gate you're 80 percent there and 80 percent is a heck of a percentage exactly that's a doable percentage and once the thing this is where the trickiness comes in Once you take that three to five minutes, and I'm telling you, if you can do it longer, do it longer. It's just that our human mind can't grasp that long for right now. Five minutes of it really is enough to to achieve what you're trying to achieve. And so once you've done that and you create that wonderful reality and you have to get involved in the feeling, you have to get involved in seeing it and touching it and really knowing that this is yours. You create that exciting, wonderful feeling about money. 